and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today, we're we'll racing at the Homestead Miami Road Course. Starting on poles, Bird getting his third pole of the season. As of this, he is the only driver this season to have three poles with this pole starting position. Starting next to him is Brad Stover. Uh, arguably uh, their best qualifying run since Phoenix. Funny enough, uh, this is the same front row as Phoenix in the exact order, if I remember correctly. If my memory serves me correct. And last week's winner was Barney Thresher the third, who got eliminated from the playoffs in round of 16. Bird also got eliminated from the round of 16 as he starts pull today looking for his third win of the season despite not being able to continue the playoffs through the elimination format we have. Um, 41 laps. This is going to have pit stops. And due to concerns of the AI being a little goofy on some of the infield corners, we're going to do single file starts. Unfortunately, we can't control that for the initial start. That will be double file. So we're hoping we're going to make it through that first start with any without any issues. But um, we'll see what happens. Anyways, i got my uh, fellow commentator, Dark X Ray, in the booth with us today. Uh, you got any first thoughts for this? Well, you already said burdens of getting the pole for today's race. So he can able to bring in another race win for Trekhouse Racing. And then I believe the highest player driver who qualified is Dark Rain. So we qualifying ninth. Yep. Back and to his teammate uh, Jeff Jordan. And then our lowest, I believe, is who's was our lowest player driver at the moment. Brandon Nelson. Is Brandon Nelson. So based on last week's results, he's going to well, try to get her better. He's actually oh, he actually he, uh, was the second highest finishing playoff driver last week, so I, I'd say he can risk a bad race here, but you never want to be in a be able to be a good enough spot coming into the Pocono. But if he feels comfortable enough there, or if he can only get this much, uh, there is Pocono next week. Okay, so he can basically kind of play it safe, but at least he's in the running to be locked in. Yeah, he's, Since he yeah, the he's, most points. he's actually uh, 33 to the good in the cut line. If he can get 39 of the good on the cut line after this race, which based on where he's starting, uh, that's up in the air, uh, he would be locked in. But, that again, that's only if he's 39 above the cut line after this race. The only driver currently meeting that status is Quadruped in the 1, who's uh, second highest starting playoff driver. But he's also in the... As long as he stay out of trouble, he should be in the safe zone. Yep. It'd be a nice uh, if he get locked in here and won't have to worry about Pocono. He's yeah, he a decent spot to do it. Yeah, but then right behind him is Dripsy. So he's looking also to have a good race today. Dripsy didn't get any points last week. Season points champion. Three-time winner of the season. Hoping not to meet the fate of the other three-time and two-time winners this season and get eliminated. So we'll see if they're able to come in clutch here in next week. And a good area of good old Pocono for next week's race. Yep. So far, we get to join a sunny sign beach of Homestay, Miami. Yep. Not so sunny in this uh, version of the track. Best set up fit a cloudy forecast. So that's what we ended up sticking with. As we said before, 41 laps. They will have to pit at least once, maybe twice. Uh, single file starts again for AI concerns. And uh, other than that, we'll let these guys race as clean as they can. And hopefully uh, have a good race ahead of us. I guess in this stance, whoever has to... So this is only like just run on one pit stop. It depends on either who's either pins in. Too early or too late, so they gotta get their stuff right. Yep. We're gonna get the command here in about 15 seconds. And uh, Brad Stover starting second, like we said. Uh, and Drum Chick 81, Bradley Ream, and then run up our top five is Sammy Box, our twin ring of and Richmond winner uh, this season. The drivers, start your engines. Command's been given. We're going to go to our spectator camera. That seems to be the best fit all around the racetrack. 
TV1 and TV2 has worked, but not quite to what I like. So we're going to stick with Spectator for the majority of this race. Hmm, that's what I got to get off the NASCAR turn number four of this fabulous road course. We wait for the flag man as the pace car pulls in. And we are green at Homestead Miami Road Course. Yep. Concern here is can they make it through these first few corners? We've seen some issues with the AI on the tests. We'll see how they do. Oh, a little bit of contact between the leaders for the lead. It's like everyone's staying double file. Here comes as, the tricky corner. As they're still side by side for the lead. Interesting battle here. And it looks like Brad Stover in the 89 is going to be able to take it here. He had a nice little entry going into that one corner. And he now takes the lead. Yeah, we're talking about Pulling before the race. Uh, how Brad Stover got that win in Bathurst in the truck series. And isn't that bad of a road, road course racer or one to watch today? And sure enough, taking the lead here, um, they could get their first career win. We are talking about as well that there's only two drivers who have been in the series at this moment who have been racing since 2021 who have not won. And that's Brad Stover, our current leader, and Jonah Burge, who's currently inside the top ten, uh, I believe in seventh. Uh so we'll uh, see if that stands. But uh, Chef Squid was the other driver coming into the season with that, and he eventually uh, won the Zach Wilder TV 400 at Watkins Glen. Now we know those skid marks are from practice, so I think everyone was able to make it through this uh, first lap pretty, pretty successfully. Yep, so far so good. Brett's As we stay green. <laughs> As Stover is pulling away, little by little. Bird is being challenged for a second. But. Which means, can they make the pass? Bradley Green there in third. One at Indianapolis Road Course. Hasn't done a whole lot since. Has tried to find some speed here and there, but it's so far been out of luck. Pretty down season for them. As was last year, it was definitely down season, but this year is already a little bit better than last. Looking at this season on a high note. As we see... Probably fourth place. Look at this drummer chick. I was say, pretty much disappointed getting eliminated doing the, that one race. So she's looking to have, end the season on the good note as well. Yeah, last year... Uh, arguably last year was a lot worse than this year. Um... And then obviously 2021, their best year and first year. Yep, see how she does at the end of this race. And then I think that was our part time driver in fifth. Yep, Anthony McClure in the number four Sharpie Ford for McClure Motorsports. Part time entry. I know, they may see McClure back into the Cup Series for next, next season. Uh, he won at uh, Bristol in the NCCRS. I, I think that's the only one in the NCCRS this year. And uh, actually, he's only one period. Mm -hmm. He's had a pretty rocky season in that series, and uh, hoping to get something going for him in that series. They've already started their playoffs. Unfortunately, he did not make their playoffs. Mm -hmm. But having some decent runs here in the Cup Series for sure. This might be his niche. Oh, so far, he's doing good, hanging into the top five. As we see behind him is what, the 23 of... Yep, Sandy Box are <laughs> Richmond, and he also won Twin Ring Motegi. I think he won the champion, the regular championship last year, didn't he? Yep, he won the regular season title last year. And also, our, oh, a little bit of contact Ooh, there with Anthony yeah, McClure nice for fourth. Very big yeah, battle nice there. Little... He's going to try to Let's get around see, the Ford car here. He may be able to complete the pass, but he... No. Nope. going to hold him into the grass. Yeah. A little bit of... That was a... Uh, little rough, ruffled up his feathers there. <laughs> Granted, if you're a part-time yeah, yeah. driver, you got to make sure that you, the, these guys... That you got to just kind of make your way through, and uh, he kind of did there in that four car. 
Well, he almost did, but he did get pushed into the grass. Yep, so where Carter was able to hold that spot. Yep, McClure's like, you're going to have to work your way to get around him. Yep, he may get another shot to pass here. York also right, coming up behind that. That's 51 car. Uh, yeah, Yoko, who I believe was the 2021 NCRS champion. That's correct. I've had some good runs at Denver Motorsports Park, of course, and Oval. And today they're working to have a seventh place run at the moment. Where I think there's going to be one of their. If it stays that it is, it might be one of their best finishes. Ah, uh, they've had better, but definitely, definitely a high note. So we're gonna get a challenge yeah, here so for from uh car behind that. Maybe. The so battle for seven between Yoko and Dark Rain. Yep. At least try to go down low. But is he able to complete the pass? They're side by side. He gets it at the line, but Ooh, they're there 51 to turn number one. It. Oh, we got loose. Fifty one sent it in. Made a, made a stick. Oh, maybe not this time. Ooh, still going at it. That's going to open up the door for Geff Jordan in the 42. But looks like 24 is... Ooh, they're still battling heavy ooh, here. Getting close. Had it to break a little bit. Looks like the 51 is able to get it. Or hold it. Anyways. Yep. But yeah, Dark X running one of the play after was actually highest running right now. Didn't get any points last week. So he's kind of tied for... Uh that those last two spots at the moment and currently as we're running if my calculations are based correct he is currently above the cut line as we're running so that's pretty good um and he's yeah, you know, again, highest running playoff driver so it's pretty good stat running seventh or well eighth at, actually well, seventh at the line yeah, yeah right. seven up the line with your direct back things about the yucko that jeff jordan looks on in ninth as he's, I mean, for his rookie season, he hasn't been, I guess he's not too good, not too bad, but he does have a win. Yep, Chicago land. So he can add that to his book. As he's so far heading on to that spot, and is that by him in the 10th? I think that is, well, it's a battle for 10th right now. I think that is Jonah. Jonah versus Roach right now. Oh, Roach misses the corner entirely. <laughs> Look like a battle for 12th behind Roach. Yep. And it looks like Kazo passes. I don't know the password position. Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah, they were, really the, or... they were really good around the around the 48. Yeah, these guys are definitely duking it out. 48 kind of wants it back, though. Oh, yeah. He's got a nice run on the back stretch. And nice. he sends it into turn number three. 40 and a 48. They're going to get the night drive off of Roach. Yep, this is for 11th. Oh, that's a... yep. I, actually, no, it's for 12th, I'm yeah, guessing. I think, it's for... I think it is for 11th. I think Roach... Oh, 40 oh. misses the corner big time. That one went really wide. He's going to open up for not a weep. Even though Kaz going to have the line going oh, into the corner. Oh, into the grass. Saves it. Oh, Evan H is not saving it. Is he okay? It oh. Looks like he lost a little... Yeah, that's definitely a caution. No, I think he's alright. <laughs> Did he get hit? Uh, he got hit, but they were able to keep it clean. Oh, he got nailed by... I think that is Dripsy. Yeah. So, he kept it straight, so we'll keep that green for now. Yeah, but he definitely got damaged. Showed yeah, Dripsy, Dripsy that... as well. Wow, Dripsy did not need back. that. With the... I think he's... Wow, from 13th down to 17th. They're still in decent contention, but they'll have to finish if they want any hopes right now. That, that definitely just put a big dent in their title hopes. In their championship but run. Yeah, but it sucks for Dripsy, but Evan H... Yeah, I Dripsy's actually... Yeah, uh, both Evan H and Dripsy come to pit road this time to repair that damage. Uh, wasn't quite enough Let's to warrant see. a yellow. Like 45. Are they going to stay? Or are they going to retire? 
Yeah, we'll see what happens. It really, the main concern, the defending champ, Evan H, definitely a concern. Oh, we got Drip another down pit road. I think that's like, Gunther. Yeah, Gunther. Uh, he, may have, road. he may have had some issues somewhere, but Dripsy, looks like they're going to keep it in the race for now. Looks like it's four tires and maybe fuel. Yeah, they fell up to 25th on that run. Definitely not what they need. Yeah. They're going to have to come in so clutch next week at Pocono to have any. Yeah, they're going to have to come in clutch next week at Pocono if they want any shots. 76 is out of pit road. Yeah, there goes Gunther. Great. So, getting repaired, and I think someone else is as well. In the 11. Um, I don't think yeah, the 11's damage is as much. Now, they're getting a lot of gas here. This is a big track, so I think if they pit now, they could make it to the end. And the 76 was the last coming out of pit road. But definitely some early pit stops uh, forced by some damage, I'm assuming. So. Yeah, I think it's by damage. Yeah. Because as long as they're still on pit road, they're going to go a lap down, so they're in danger in that position. Yeah, that granite. Lucky Dog's also a thing if we get a yellow. The 11 still on pit road. 32 comes out. They, uh, not the 40. 40 is actually so. still on 12th, but uh, 32. So we... Oh, let's see. Um, but quadruped, quadruped might have lost their. Yeah, they might have lost their front end there on when it restarts or something. Yeah. Cause I don't think going in nine laps into the race, you don't want to come to pit road this early. Well, I think it, it, it's a strat. If you pit now, you don't have to pit again. And if Wait, you're leading, yeah. you do got to pit again. So it, it's a mixed strat. If you got the track position and granted the car, which I don't think the one car has, 32 might, but they just did not have the track position. It depends on if they can get enough speed in that clean air they have right now to do it. It's gonna yeah, be a dead end fresh tires makes a big difference. Yeah, fresh tires cleaner is a 76 who came in at the top end of this strategy is a losing time right Ooh, now. Nobody gets nailed by Jeff. A little bump and run by Jeff Jordan, and he's yeah, he's dropping like a rock. A spot to, wow, not a yeah, Jonah. Gonna lose spot to Jonah. Yeah, so he pitted early, and he is losing a ton of spots. I, you know, I guess he's really so just they, not up to pace with these guys. Yeah, I think that engine damage is severe, because that goes Roach going to go by, and I think Kaz is going to go by as well. I have engine damage. <laughs> it might have some internal damage. Maybe. But he's out there to make every lap, though. I'll give yeah. him credit for that. Yeah, Darlington winner. Uh, he's had a pretty mid-season overall. We'll see if he's able to get anything going from it. Let's see. I wonder who their leader is at the moment, or they or they still the same. Uh, yeah, it looks like Brad Stover still got it by about almost two seconds now. It's gotten a lot bigger than what it was. Yeah, the clean air on the road core definitely helps. It is, he is pulling away. And we might see it some like... lap traffic on pace eventually, but we don't know. <laughs> True. Green, this is a long race. 12 laps in. <laughs> Green so far, mainly because... Um... Probably just, yeah. I don't know. That one wreck, I, I just don't think it was enough to put out of yellow. It wasn't too severe. It, it was recoverable, that's why. It was only a couple cars and they were able to keep it gone. And I don't think there's anyone else out at the moment. Oh, let's check the standings. We may have a few. Uh, actually, we have a lot. Oh, uh, we do. It's like the 60. The 22, 21, 26, 99, 77. 67 and the 60 as the 11, 54, and the 03 are two laps down. Yeah, the 54 and 03 are playoff drivers. The 22 is a playoff driver. Uh, Daniel Pauls Jr., he didn't finish last week, so Daniel Pauls Jr. will not finish this race. And actually, I believe it's from a mechanical issue saying it's a clutch. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. First crown. Uh, Sean Ard, playoff driver. Uh, he did gain points last week, so he's got a cushion of sort and then Evan H and Dripsy at this moment Dripsy and Evan H and you know the O3 are going to get points to, sh to end this race saying they're still in it and they're still on the track too but with heavy damage they've had to repair those cars very heavily and they're not quite on pace either so they're just going to have to try and finish and hope for more cars to not finish to be in better shape for next week uh, but specifically yes, the 54 and the 0-3 so zero three yeah, to 
Zero of three appears to be fearing the best of the cars that have been involved in troubles. They probably have Ooh, engine damage to hang them. Yeah, they, so, they probably got some also, damage. Though. Yeah, these guys are flying by them. Ooh, I think that is Strauss who just went by. Just a little bit sideways, but she's able to make the pass. Just because they have and more armor today. 15. That is for 15. Hey, look at her go. Not a bad run today for that 88 car. Oh, yeah, representing the. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what team he's representing at the moment. I think K and N. K and K and N. K and K Racing, yeah. Okay, Not a bad K &K show. Racing. They've had a pretty decent rookie season so far. I say decent lightly. Decent yeah, they're up and downs. She looks like improved. I don't know if she's getting on out of weeb or the line is consistent. Let's see. So far, then. Looks a bit consistent. It's not pulling away. Well, they ran their fastest lap that last time by. Not this time. They were a little bit off this time. Actually, by off by a whole second. <laughs> I think it's because yeah. they had to avoid that 03 car in the turn one. But, uh... Oh, yeah. They're finding the speed. Don't count them out. Definitely. I mean, it's up 15. You can't be mad about that. By no means. Ooh, a... Wow. Wow. Not a weave nearly goes sideways as he's gaining on Chick Shangle. I'm not sure Shangle's on the lead lap. He might be. Uh, yeah, Shang see. Shangle's on the lead lap. Yeah, he's he's running first position. So this, so this is a battle for 13th. That looks like uh, a weave goes to the bottom. Man, I don't weave's actually lost some spots overall. Looks like he's going to clear that 64 here. Uh, looks like he's yeah he got him. So he will take 14th place from Jake Singles. Well, these guys definitely know they need this race. Yep. And already lost a couple spots to Roach and uh, Kazo, so it looks like getting back around that 64 is what they were needing to do there. Let's see. I wonder if the real post ops. For those who have damage. They may be able to get some of that lap back. Depends on if the leader pits or not. Yeah. But I think they're not going to have to like maybe lap 25 or 26. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, we didn't test it with 1X. We tested with 2X. They pitted twice, and we didn't like that. We said, yeah, 1X oh, is yeah. going to be the stuff. So uh, They're going to have to pit once. Uh, depending on the clean air and everything, we'll see what happens with everyone else and where they figure out. Uh, I just Being so far back in traffic, I just don't think it's going to be a huge advantage there. Those guys. Oh, yeah. They might find something, have, though. Let's see. I think we have Kazo versus Roach. Did, they, did he complete the pass, or? We'll see. That's going to be for... Looks like I he did. I think 11. Yep. Kazo yep. was able to successfully get around the 66 of Roach. Roach has had a pretty decent <laughs> season. Pretty much when the playoffs started. First time of the season to have a great run, but... Oh, well. <laughs> might as well end it well if you can't start it well. It is true. It's kind of been the Roach yeah. Renaissance, if you could, if you would. Uh, they've had, they've won a lot of the last uh, NCRS races. I don't know the specific fact, but they, they, they've been very successful there, and they've been very, fairly, fairly, I say, fairly successful here in the past few weeks as well. With Jacob Shangle, I think, getting his second, or, or Jacob Shangle almost getting his second win, and very good run last week, and then Roach winning at the Charlotte, Charlotte. Uh, uh, circuit, whatever they call it, um, to start off the round of 16 with, because of a bad setup, but win's a win. Kevin, yeah, it like Roach is getting a nice little run against Kezo. But I think it's going to be not enough to make the pass, but he's using a nice little draft. Okay, set off with turn number one, though. He's out break on that one, but got a bit loose. They're both getting on Jonah, though. They're reaching to these nice tight corners. Now, Kazza's pulling away since he has the position. So far, so even coming off these. I think that was turn number 
five or six. Yeah, but these guys are pretty much even. Uh, that's me now on Jonah. Oh, a little bit slight from Kazo. Rose went a little bit too high. So he's gonna cool away a little bit. Gotta say, you got a battle for 9th, 10th, and 11th. Yeah, Kazo's definitely pulling away now. Let's see what Roach can do as we look up our Kazo. He's not there against Jonas. As we look at Roach. Gotta see, you got a couple of fresh uh, skid marks. We got a couple of got that one loose. Kazo made it went a little bit too high into the grass. So gonna slow him down a little bit. Still in the grass there, off the rumble strips. On to the back stretch. It seems like some guys are strong in one area and they weak in the other areas. Yep, and then they're inconsistent lap to lap. Uh, Kazo just ran as fast as lap last time by with a 1.04552. And this time he just ran a lap that was a second a second slower. <laughs> Let's show how inconsistent some of these laps are per driver. Yep, and he was pulling away from Roach. Now Roach is reeling him back in. The battle for 11th. So far, we're almost halfway through. Yep. And let's see where's our leader at the moment. He might be three seconds ahead now. Well, he's still leading. Uh, gap is two se Oh, yeah, about three seconds. Uh, doesn't look like we have any more DNFs. 11 and 54 have gone two more laps, or one more lap down. And we got a few cars. We've only got 23 on the late lap so far. As a lot of this field is really separated. I think the only way they're going to catch up with Stover is they get a lap quarter to slow them down. Yeah, they get a lap quarter. Um, and you know, with Greg, good pit stop with some clean track. Or maybe a good line or something is really what they need. Two, two, three seconds is a lot of time to make up, I will say. But Brad Stover, this is a career day for that 89 car. By all means, uh, they've they've never had this dominant of a race. They've never had speed of this, and here they are looking for their first win in CCS history in their CCS career after being the, the rated worst driver in 2021, having a wow. very poor season last year, and this year showing some glimmers of speed. Phoenix was definitely one first top five in their career, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then a win in the truck series, the little mock-up truck series they made for at Bathurst. Here they are running today, showing that road course speed they found. They found their niche here at Homestead Road Course so far. We'll see if they're able to keep it here in the lead. And maybe bring home their first career win. So far, so good. He's doing well. But he's definitely pulling away. Yep. I see, that was a lot. Oh, who is that? Got a lot car ahead of him. Looks like it. Well, uh, no uh, I think that's a Zevil in the 45 who won at Watkins Glen. Uh, the second race we did at Watkins Glen. He's had him. He's, he's had a season and a half, guys. First win at Watkins Glen. Bar barely missed the playoffs. And he's just had a really up and down season. Next year now, he's starting his own thing. Uh on a team that's really on a down year it's unfortunately i don't think coming back next year as they're shutting down operations but uh you know what he's had a season and a half <laughs> got a win to show for it though but this race has definitely not gone his favor he's already i think a couple laps down about to go third actually he's only one lap down about to go two laps down is obviously with no yeah. front end you're going to not have any pace and there's a lot of stretch straights in this track where you're going to need aerodynamics and he just doesn't have it. 
Yeah, cause the leader is not too far behind me. I think he's getting them maybe a tenth of a lap. Yeah. Question is though, uh, can they get can Stover hold up this uh, 45 car a bit while that 18 to catch up maybe, or maybe uh, Bradley Ream who's shown some speed here and there. I think that 18 caught a little bit that last time. Uh, yeah, he Let's caught see. he caught up a little bit that last time. 18 car did. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we We're talking about inconsistencies. You know, some drivers make mistakes, some laps. Also, we've seen the 03 up there. He's about to go uh, a third lap Ooh. down. As uh, Evan, Evan H. Yeah, he's in that. Evan H. has finally called it a day in that 11 car. Yeah, Cody's out as well. Yeah, well, Cody was out earlier, but uh, the 11 finally called it a day. They don't have much oh, to yeah. run for. Dripsy, on the other hand, they have a lot to run for. Yep, they're gonna keep that, it. Uh, they're gonna keep it going as long as they can. That 54 car, try to get this thing to the end. Yeah. So far, to see how Stover does when you go into traffic. Uh, we'll see how he is in clean air. Yeah, 45 didn't hold him up a whole lot. Uh, 18 still caught. Uh, actually, 18 lost a little bit of time that time around. We'll see if he gets around the 03 this time a little easy. 03 lets him by. There's a little bit of pressure. Even though he's a, well, he's doing a gentlemanly thing to do. He knows not to be in trouble, so he's going to let the leader go by. Yeah. And we're talking about Brandon Nelson having that point cushion coming in. I think he's still going to be ahead after this because all the stuff other play after has been through, specifically Sean Ard, Neil Paulus Jr., they're the only, ones, the only play after ever out of the race. Um, those two in... Uh, Dan Paulus Jr. currently the only one in a huge deficit right now as two DNFs to the to the round and uh, around his 12 exit no surprise though seeing he's had a pretty mediocre season and a win at Michigan has kind of saved his season for that 22 car but we'll see what happens but Wood Brothers has definitely picked up a little bit and especially today if they can get a win um, if they get a win today uh, three of their four drivers on their team will have a win this year uh, all except for Jonah but a uh, pretty solid year nonetheless if that's the case <laughs> Lord, I'm about to go a lap down soon. Yeah, you were you were up front a little bit ago. I guess you might have spun out or something. Either you, pity or damage. Uh, you got a little bit of front end damage, but uh, nonetheless, you're still you're still in it. Uh, running 27th, two laps down. Definitely not a great place to be, but um, it could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse. As long as you keep running better than the... I guess he runs... At least had another playoff driver. He should be either above the cutoff line. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, he does go another lap down. Bird gained a little bit of ground, but not... But he may lose it at this point if he doesn't get around the rain. Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, he lost a little bit. He's a lot, he's, like we said, these laps are inconsistent. Sometimes they'll gain, sometimes they'll lose ground on times around you never really know he's gonna if he does make the pass as he gets up that string gets out the way so far we seem to be seeing passes doing the bottom section of the line but not doing the front yep so far our top five and top ten is nearly say constantly here comes Rain as he goes by. Nice little pass right there. He's had a pretty solid day. Top three so far. I can guarantee he's enjoying every bit of it. <laughs> but I know he definitely wants that win. Yeah, he wants win number two of the season. Road courses have definitely been his niche. There goes Drummer Shake, who's not too far behind either. Yep, running him fourth. Having a pretty solid day. Despite getting a run away from the playoffs, still trying to make the most of it. She wasn't much proud of herself. May not be in the playoffs, but she's showing that she is a contender for next season. She's trying to gain on Rain, but. That must have a draft when you're going down on the root course. She's definitely there.
thing is that I'm gonna have turn number one. I have to turn number two. Should I be losing turn number three? On the uh, on the straights, I guess you said that cornering like he could have a better straight uh, feet. Oh, that was a big slide right there, my friend. A little bit of spectator view. Uh, that's I not right. Uh, Mets yep. hits. Looks like Roach is out of the race. Oh. Uh, looks like uh, Roach has been added to the DNF list. Only one. Oh. Yes? Well, I never thought of Hunter Man being a reliable reliability issue type of track, but it looks like it is. It looks like Rain. I don't know if he stuck me kinky past Gunther because Drummer Trick was there. Hmm. So could reliability be a factor in this race? As Raymond trying to get around Gunther. And I think he finally does. And they come still fight him on the ooh, still fighting him on the outside. But Rain's gonna get the lines, putting Gunther into the grass. But that's gonna help Drummer Chick. Now he finally get past. Didn't know why Raim had a hard time fasting Gunther while Drum Drake went past him with ease. But hey. That wouldn't make sense much at all because that's a on it's a rail fan motorsports car in the 76s. <laughs> uh, probably going to be I'm a meet, team meeting uh, tomorrow. <laughs> As I say, you don't want to block the, your owner. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> don't want to cost him a, well, I guess they call it here a podium, but we don't per se have those. But uh, they call that. Well, I guess we still call it podium. It is racing after all. Question it. They might not pit, but I think they will, but it, it'd probably be late race. I'm going to tend to go yeah. soon. I mean, it is around that time, man. We already know who made who left the most laps at this point. Yep. Brad Stover led the most laps. This will be their most successful race they've ever ran, regardless of where they finish. It looks like they're coming to pit road this time. <laughs> looks like I looks like I spoke too soon. Bird follows. And now Grant, they're probably gonna stay in pit road a little bit here, fill that gas tank up. It won't be a whole lot a whole long while, but it'll be a little bit longer than usual. It won't be no fifteen second pit stop, probably be around more 18 or so seconds. Some of the cars have already pitted, trying to keep their lap and also uh, gain some time as well. Let's see. Will he go for the four turn strategy, two star strategy, or just gas? It looks like it's their pole sitter birds in pit road. So is Drummer Chick 81 and um, a 28 of uh, Bradley Ream is, uh, I think Anthony McClure chose to stay out of part time driver. He's only in here to race for one reason, that's to win, so with that strategy, he has nothing to lose, really. He has everything to gain. So far, our top four pit in together. It depends on who comes out the pit road first, we'll take the lead. It looks like Brad Stover will do so. And I believe our current leader is Anthony McClure, and he stays out another lap. He will so he's currently six wait no he already pitted never mind i thought he stayed out no he's already oh, yeah. pitted so uh who let who was leading uh, uh it looks like the o3 has finally called it a day with engine damage as well uh i don't it's think <laughs> i don't think anyone else was able to surpass the the uh that one car the, the 40 maybe no yeah, you know, would have been a lap. Uh, uh, they might, earlier. they may have pitted earlier, but uh, they've definitely gained some spots if this was a successful pit stop. 
And those was the most of the guy that had damage earlier. Uh, Even though uh, it really help. I don't really know. <laughs> but I think uh, I don't think Brad Server lost a spot on that piss cycle. Could have had someone stay out try to lead another lap, but uh, no one ultimately did so, did that. And it looks like the lead gap has grown a little bit between Let's see. Stover and Bird. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, but between third and fourth, that gap has increased largely. Yeah, yeah about three. Bigger. Oh, wow. That's about three seconds when we have, what, eight laps to go. Yep, not a lot left in this race. And Brad Stover has came in clutch. Had a great pit stop, had a great race. Uh, didn't get involved in any of the shenanigans that I didn't catch. That's why we didn't have any yellows, except for that one I did catch, but uh, ultimately decided against throwing a yellow for that, because it didn't really look bad enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can get local yellows and full color yellows on a road course. Yeah, this, uh, we already knew it was going to be kind of weird, but take it for what it's worth. So far, it's affected some playoff drivers, but it's only ended the day of the 3 uh, 67 and, uh, 22. 54 is still running. Their last car running, but they're still running. <laughs> Run it till the wheels fall yeah. off. Unfortunately, <laughs> got, yeah, unfortunately got involved in that incident with the 11. Cost them quite a lot. They run hey, seven, they they're running 17th yeah. at the time, having a net loss of about 13 spots. But, uh, they will have to come in clutch next week, likely, as it will probably be below the cut line. But we'll see what happens when I update points and whatnot. It's going to be kind of interesting to see. Pocono is not going to be a track you want to come in clutch out, but it looks like uh, Dripsy's going to have to. We'll see what happens. I would say by running out like this, if another driver in does it, I'm thinking that's, in, that's another position. So that is true. Be driving. Until we go to three to go, uh, they still have spots they can gain. Hey, you can't stop them from trying. Your car may not be fast, but with a little bit of luck, you may get another spot. As we go, a little bit of loose from Bird in the background. Like, don't. I ain't gonna say you don't have enough to catch Stover. Let's see. Uh, he's just, he's traffic, not but. he's not really shown anything speed wise that would be an advantage on that uh 89 car. I think well so far he did gain a second. Uh, he well, won three points down to two sixteen. Almost a second. We'll <laughs> see if he gains anything this time around. Yeah, I think that was I think that was due to traffic to help out Bird, but. Yeah, I think that might have been a fluke, a fluke lap. We'll see what happens. Yeah, if he does get up there, the question is, can he pass him? Well, That's another question. We've seen successful passing. Wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, true. Let's see how many gain this time. I actually lost some that time. Yeah, he lost a tenth of a second. And... And he's literally right there. You can literally see him. Yep. What? Laps are winding down with six laps to go. Either that or five laps to go. Might be seven. Counting that one for 41. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, for instance, Dover is not looking like a blue duck. For Bird, but he has that runner better line who's gonna gain on him. So far, Stover did what he has to do. He kept clean, made the right strategy, and if it stays as it is now, he will get a win. Slowly slides in there. I think Bird lost another tempo of a lap there. And I think. Let's see what's in front of him. I 
Hard to tell if he gained a little bit or not, because it always changes. Eh, he's closer than what he was a couple laps ago, by about three tenths or three one hundredths, which isn't a lot. Yeah. He may. Yeah, he does change every little up though. But Stover does have a lap traffic ahead of him. I think that is Zevil. I think that's ahead of. I think you already got it right. Yeah. I don't know. There he is. Good night. Zevil, Zevil's still keeping it going as well. Oh yeah, he's not giving up. He's gonna roll it till the wheels run off. Yep. Same with uh, Dripsy, with the uh, inverted numbers. Oh yeah. They're going to do whatever they can. Brad Sturver not wasting any time with this 45 car. Ooh, that was close. He almost did the old bump and run, but he gets out of the way. Well, yep, about four laps ago. Bird is right there. That's not... Will it be enough? He definitely needs to help the gain on him. Bird's gonna try to get by Zevil. And he does. It wrinkled another lap down. I it think, looks uh, like Bird is now maybe a second back. Uh, yeah, he's gained a little bit more time there. But uh, yeah, Dark X Rain and uh, Zevil fighting for a position right now. It looks like Zevil catching a lot on the 24 car for a 27th. That is a crucial point that 24 may need for next week. Uh, oh. Is that 45 looks to be able to breeze by almost? So, well, I'm gonna put up a little fight there. 45 just gets a huge run there. The damage yeah. is 24 has a lot more damage, so he's gonna lose that spot to the 45. Yeah, it's hard to be losing spots like that, but we don't have the car to do it, then. Get hope for next week. So far, with a couple of laps to go. Bird is slowly gaining on Stover. Yeah, he, he's actually been gaining a little bit here and there. He found something in that in that uh, Camaro. I saved up his tires or something of that nature. Oh yeah. With a little help, a lot of traffic too. But will it be enough? They're gonna have to gain another tip of a lap though. But it could be possible. Yeah, he's been fast enough to gain enough time. It's just coming two to go, there's a lot of gap there. And if he loses any time now in the last lap, it's it's just over for the taking. Yeah, it's pretty much over. He loses another tenth of a second. It's over. Get the checkered flag. Get that white flag out for Brad Stover. Yeah, over for the man from Dover. For a man named Stover. Hey, he, he lost some time there. Yeah, it's. I don't think he's going to catch him. Yeah, he's pretty much over at this point. Unless there's a big mistake made on the white flag or something. Yeah. He's not giving up, though. Okay, he gained a little bit of time on that corner. He sure did. I did notice that. Question is, is he able to gain the time on these last couple corners, which uh, Brad Stover appears to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, it seems like Bird is good when he gets into those tight corners, but he just don't have that uh, acceleration off to, to get enough speed. Yep. That seems to be a big advantage. But a white flag here in the air for Brad Stover in the 89, Aaron's Ford Mustang. We've talked about it all race. Hasn't won a single race in the CCS. 
since they're and they've not at all. They they they've been uh, switching teams. They started their own last year. Had a very poor season this year. On the other hand, looking for their third seat, third win this season as a team. And just this later half of the season, and Brad Stover, he wanted Bothers in the trucks, which is not really a sanctioned series, but something to note. Got some road course skill there. Brought it here. Here he is leading with just a couple corners left. And uh, Brad Stover. <laughs> he's only got a couple left before he uh, gets his first career win. A few more quarters to go, and he can add a win to his, to his books. He's coming up to turn three into turn number four. And your winner is going to be Brett Stover from Dover. And he was at Homestead, Miami. Well, that was a race and a half. Uh, Nat, uh, unfortunately, there was only one driver who's been racing since 2021 who's yet to win a race. And he just finished 10th place. Or he's about to. He's actually getting challenged for 11th. Oh, this is going to be a battle for 10th. Oh. I did not think. I was not expecting that. Uh, uh, all barely got top 10 there for uh, Jonah. Almost got taken away. Just the uh, same. But yeah, only driver in this field who's been racing since 2021 and is yet to win a race. Uh. Now with that win. Oh, and he's in the wall there after the race. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see. What do you call it? The old fat and pre pre risk scum scramble. Well, it's a good thing it was after the race. <laughs> yeah, you got a little bit dumb, but hey, got a little love top. Yep. You got a little races. Well, that pretty much. That was a race. Had a little bit of a strategy, a little bit. Can't complain. Yep. Uh, next week's Pocono for both series. Uh, unfortunately, some drivers didn't finish, so uh, Daniel Paulus is pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna say it. He's. Well, I'm not gonna say it quite. Yeah, there's some drivers that did bad enough to where it's up in the air. But uh, Daniel Paulus Jr. is gonna definitely need to have a race of a lifetime next week to even have a shot. Dripsy's not in good shape. Darkest Rain not in good shape. Um, so those guys are going to need to come. Sean Art ain't in great shape either. And neither is uh, Brandon Nelson's in okay shape. But we'll, we'll see what happens next week. I think it'll be an interesting gap to see who's all where. I don't think we're going to have anyone really locked out. But we'll figure out when points update. And, uh, yeah, Dark, you got any, uh, final, final thoughts? Well, give it, um, that Dover wins his first, first race of the season. Playoff drivers are going to be so much pressure going into Pocono. Oh, yeah. You know how tricky it's going to be. Yep. For so, sure. next week races, they're going to have to be clutch. Yep. Well, we'll see you next week. And, uh. Side uh, a round of eight.